Okay, I did it. My satanic summoning circle just caught fire. Yeah, I've got something very similar. I now have lines that I think I need to tell you what to press again. Okay, so I've got uh, a ring around the star. Um, uh. I, uh, yeah, and they've got like symbols on them. Yeah, so currently I can see eight symbols and then they're glowing orange for me and I can see a path that's telling me pretty clearly the order of what to do with these symbols. Okay, uh, it's really difficult on my end because I can't see the symbols until I click on them. How exciting. So, I mean, like, they are actually drawn, but the lighting is pretty poor, but, um, <laughs> uh, just describe the first one for me. I don't know if this is the start or the end, but I'm just gonna pick one and we'll roll with it, and if we need to do it backwards, that's okay. So the first one is, like, a caltrop. It looks kind of like a, or, you know, you flick them, play f toys with them with your thumb. It, it, it's like a... The, the spiky bit in barbed wire. Damn it, there's one that's just similar. I just realized there's three that look like that. Um, it's an X with a horizontal line through the connecting point. Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? I talked through the middle. Sorry, um, I just realized there's like three symbols that you could have assumed it was by my first description so i'm re-describing it it's like an x and there's a small horizontal line going through the middle of the connecting point of the uh the x okay i found that one um how uh okay yes yeah i've got it. okay if you were then to go, like, uh, if you were standing on that one, looking inwards at your circle, your next one would be, you'd be going one, two, and then three along to the left from there. So it kind of looks like a rectangle, but the short ends have been squashed inwards? Correct. Alright, done it, what's next? Then you're going to the one to the right of it. It looks like DNA. Done. Then you're going one, two, three to the left. It looks like the Jesus fish. Done. Then you're going one left and it looks like a lightning strike on ground. Then you're going one more left, and it looks like the infinity symbol. D then you're going one, two, three to your right, and it looks like a weird X with bits sticking out of the middle. That. B U T. Well done. But now the music has stopped and I'm very aware that the marionette was in this room. <laughs> I'm cautiously looking around my area too. Just uh, check the ceiling for him. Uh, I don't want to look up. What if Goop lands on my shoulders? What do I do then? Uh, then you've been marked to die, I'm afraid. Ah, of course. So I wonder what the point was of that book I was reading that was full of spelling mistakes. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, apparently you just hit a sh checkpoint or something. Um, I don't have a way out of this room just as yet. Uh, that's fine. I can see another summoning circle-y looking thing. So maybe I've got to read out a thing for you. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with it. I can't really do anything, but yeah, see what happens. Hang on, I'm at the bottom of a spiral staircase. I'm gonna go up. Okie dokie. There was a lever at the bottom. 
Oh, I found a small door that opened. I found a small door. Something's moving. What? Or something. Oh, my stairs are disappearing behind me. Oh god, okay, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, items. Uh, they're all cubes and they all look almost exactly the same. Uh, and I think I need to place them on a pedestal for you, but I don't know which one. Yeah, okay, so I've got like a cross, like a Christian cross here, and it's got uh, different shapes on it. Alright, uh, hit me with those shapes. Uh, at the top, there is a triangle pointing up. Triangle pointing up? Okay. Uh, on the next level down, of which there are three squares across, on the far left, it is a triangle pointing to the left, in the center is a pentagon, and on the right is a square. Uh, okay, triangle pointing up, right is a square. Uh, run me through them again, sorry? So, uh, the, the top was a triangle point- Top was a triangle what? Fuck it. I think I got it wrong. Uh, I think you did something wrong. <laughs> I think you're right. Because I just lost like another five stairs, just all went at once, I have like four stairs left. Uh, can you run me through through them again, sorry? You, you mostly cut out there. A triangle pointing up, then a triangle pointing left, a pentagon, a square, a pentagon pointing down, and then a circle. This doesn't help me. Uh, don't, uh, don't, don't waste your brain power, I'm dying in three, two, one. I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> I pick up, so there's all these boxes, right? There's these cubes, and all of them have triangles, all of them have squares, all of them have pentagons. And the minute right. you pick them up, they immediately start, like, you can spin them in your hands. Right, okay, so you, I think you must need to spin them to face a certain shape, and then arrange them in the in this cross shape? Well, all I can do is pick one of them, and then place it down on the pedestal. So one of them is right already, I just have to identify which of the seven is right. So, uh, can you describe this pedestal that they're on? Uh, it, it's just a fucking pedestal. Oh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're just on pedestals at each end, and you put them on this, like, altar. Uh, the altar has uh, an engraving of what looks like a lion or something on it, like, from the, the intro cutscene. Okay. Um, so, w uh, when you take these cubes, can you stack them in some way? No, no. So, so the cube itself... On one side it's got a triangle, on another side it's got a triangle, on another side it's got a pentagon, on another side it's got a square, and on another side it's got a compass to be a circle. Um, and, and then right. you, like, you spin it in your hands so you can see the different sides of it. Uh, and then all of them are slightly different. Right, so it's only one cube you have. I got seven cubes, I gotta figure out which one's the right one. Oh, right, okay, no. I figured it out. The shape I was looking at is not a Christian cross. It's the, it's an unfolded cube. Oh, I like that. Because it's cool. got six sides. Right. Okay, so so, yeah, so, so it's going to be a case of, I need to, to describe to you the, the side that has a triangle pointing up, and then at the bottom of the triangle, so when you get it so that your triangle is pointing up, so that you can rotate it to the one below it. 
Well, if you tell me so which you... one the triangle, if there's a triangle pointing up, if you tell me which one it's pointing to, then I'll be able to look at my box and go, oh yeah, that's the one where the triangle's pointing yeah. to that specific shape or whatever. Yeah, right. I mean, there will be two triangles. True. So if we, if we just roll through the two triangles. Right, yes. Yep. No, I, sh I should be able to visualize it as a 3D cube. I think um, you're more capable of... I think you're in the right mode <laughs> compared to me. I don't know. My one had the marionette. That... <laughs> Uh, it, it honestly made my stomach drop when I looked up and he was just there and he just said, Don't be afraid. Oh, that's actually awful. And then disappeared. Fuck. I wasn't expecting him to talk. No. Okay. Shall we give it a go? Yep, let's go. Oh, okay, my stairs are going. My stairs are going. I'm running up to the... Okay, so on the cube there should be two triangles, and they're both pointing at a pentagon. Like, very clearly pointing at a pentagon? Yes, one of them will be pointing at the flat bottom of the pentagon, and the other one will be pointing at the side. Okay, I think I'm holding the right one. Okay, um... Nope. Nope. No, you won't. Okay, I'm going to describe uh, another part of this cube. So, the... Uh... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, can you find the triangle pointing at the base of the pentagon? Yes. Oh, and then the one on... Uh... Triangle to the pentagon, and then go past the top of the pentagon, there should be another pentagon pointing back at it. Yeah, I, th I think I'm now holding the right one. Okay, on the other side of that second pentagon, below its base, is there the comp... Yes, I think so. That sounds like the right one. That was it. Nice, you did it. I'm through. I'm moving further up the staircase. Hey, guess what? I need another cube. What? There's another cube. It's, it's the same cube puzzle again, but just further up. Okay, hit me with the symbols. Okay, the, on this one there should be two triangles pointing at each other. Okay. Two triangles pointing at each other. Nope. That'll do. Got it. Holy crap, that was it. Looks like you need another one. Sorry, what was that? Um, I, you need another one. What are the, what are the symbols? Okay. Um, there should be, um... Oh, oh god, alright. Uh, there will be a uh, a compass with two triangles pointing at it. Okay. A compass... Nope. Compass... Nope. Two triangles pointing at it. Uh, that's pointing at it. That's gonna do. Got it. And flawless. Thank God your your instructions were simple yet exactly what my monkey brain needed. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a, a compass with two triangles pointing at it, and then I just let go of my radio and said, wait, am I like if, if I'm imagining this cube correctly? No, that was that was perfect. All right, I'm investigating the room. There is a lot of lava. Oh, okay. there is a flashing lever on the wall. There's a ship, like a boat wheel, like a steering wheel from a ship. 
And maniacal laughter. There is maniacal laughter in this room. Uh, jo Joseph, I'm in a new room. I'm in a very long corridor. There are paintings on the side of the wall, and uh, 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 there are suits of armor, each one with different weapons. The wall is going to crush me. Uh, the wall is going to what? Smush me into little tiny baby burned pet castle pieces. Uh, uh, lovely. Did you also hear the terrifying laugh? Yeah, that played when I walked into the room. Okay, uh, this ship wheel is turning. I can stop it. You, you, you pulled the wall back. You pulled the wall back. Happening. That ship wheel pulls the wall back, so so it no longer covers the the suits of armor and what looks like their insignias as well. They've got shields with insignias on them. They all appear to be relatively different. Uh, so can you confirm that when I'm rolling this ship wheel back, it's returning the wall? Yeah, at this point the wall is back in its original position. It's no longer moving uh, right now, but I think the second you let go, it will start moving again. It is moving again. Okay, so here's the deal at my end. I need to hold this wheel, but at the far end of my room, across a bridge over lava, I can see some suits of armor. Okay. Yeah, I, I think you have to micromanage both of those things. Just so you're aware, my room is long, I do have time, and uh, if you need to go and look at those suits of armor, I can chill and let you know when things get a little bit hairy. Uh, are you able to go and look at the insignias on your armor first? Yeah, man. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's four suits of armors, and each suit of armor is holding a different weapon, or multiple weapons. Above each one has a different insignia. So, uh, let's say I'm starting at the far end, where the wall will be covered. There's a suit of armor who's holding a shield in one hand and a scimitar kind of thing in the other. Above him is a shield with a badger on its hind legs and it's holding a piece of paper. Okay, so scimitar, shield, standing badger with paper. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'm going to let go of this wheel and go have a look. Go for it, dude. Okay, so I can see the armor, and I can see the insignias, but they don't have any weapons. Interesting. Wall is about halfway to me now. Alright, I'm gonna bring it back. So when you say it has a scimitar, because I've got a whole bunch of swords here. 